Hello, today I'll be reviewing the new In Flames album, For Gone. And this was an album that I was really looking forward to, especially with how much I enjoyed some of the singles. But this was an album that I did pre-order. I pre-ordered a signed CD and I'm definitely looking forward to getting that in the mail. Gotta support your artists. So when it comes to In Flames, I am one of those fans that likes both their 90s work and their 2000s work. I know some people are not a big fan of A Sense of Purpose, but I am a defender of that album. I do like that album. Wouldn't rank it as one of their best, but still, overall, I do think it is a solid album. But then we move to the 2010s work, which I think is easily their weakest material. There's maybe a handful of songs that I like, but that's really it for me, again, with their 2010s work. But yeah, overall, not a big fan of that type of stuff, uh, especially Siren Charms and Battles. But let's go ahead and dive into the album, uh, which starts off with the beginning of All Things, which is an acoustic intro that leads into State of Slow Decay which was the first single, and I was really into the song when it came out. Uh, one of the first things that came to my mind during my first listen was that it definitely reminded me of Blinded by Fear by At The Gates, and I know I'm not the only one that hears that because I remember seeing some other people commenting that, so good to know that it's not just me, but yeah, really dig the Metal Death riffage in this song, such as of course in the verses, and I do, oh, and I do dig the chorus where you get the more clean vocals too, Overall, a pretty killer song, I'd say, and a pretty killer single. The next we're moving to Meet Your Maker, which is was another single on the album. Definitely sounds more like more modern in flames. Uh, a sense of purpose, sounds like Plague on Fading. I kind of get those that type of vibe from this song. With that said, this is this might be unpopular to say, I don't know, but this is easily my least favorite of the singles. With that said, I like this song, but I wouldn't say that I love it though. Uh, the reason why is because of the clean vocals from Anders in this song. Now, don't get me wrong, I like his clean vocals, I do like his singing, but sometimes his, his clean vocals could be pretty hit or miss for me. In this case, I'm not really sure if I'm feeling his singing in this song, but maybe as I give this song more and more listens over time, I'll the chorus will grow on me or his singing in, in this song will grow on me but as of now again probably one of, probably my least favorite of the singles but again not a bad song overall a decent song but let's move on to the song bleeding out which is another song that definitely sounds more like modern in flames and i actually like the clean vocals in the song uh such as in the chorus definitely one of those choruses you can sing along to Another thing that stands out to me is the solo in the song, definitely another highlight for me in this song. And also I do gotta mention Chris Boderick. Uh, this is his first album with the band and he's definitely a great addition to the band. He definitely does a really killer job in this album, such as in songs like Great Deceiver and In the Dark. But yeah, again, back to Bleeding Out. Overall, fairly solid song. But next we're moving to Forgone Part 1, which might be my favorite of the singles and also one of my favorites on the album. Um, I definitely dig the upbeat heaviness of the verses along with the growls over that heaviness. And then you have the chorus, which might be one of my favorite choruses on the album. But yeah, I'm really digging Forgone Part 1, probably one of my favorites again on the album. But next we're moving to Forgone Part 2, which was another single, uh, the fourth single if I remember correctly. and. With this one, you get more clean vocals. You do have your moments of growls, but again, more clean vocals with this one. And this is another song on the album for me where the clean vocals or the singing definitely really works for me uh, from Anders. Uh, I really, overall, fairly good song. Not sure if it's one of my favorites on the album, but either way, fairly good song, I'd say. Then we're moving to Pure Light of Mind, which starts off with an acoustic intro leading into some heavy guitar work leading into the first verse and the verse is overall fairly melodic and then you have the chorus which overall i do like for me one of the stronger uh aspects of the song or one of the stronger points of the song but yeah overall with this song there are things that i like but things that i'm not sure if i'm really feeling though um I do, I do dig the acoustic moments of the song. I think they're a nice touch to the song. And I also, again, do dig the chorus, but at, when it comes to the rest of the song, I'm not really sure. It's, the rest of the song is kind of meh for me, but again, not a bad song. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider any of the songs in here to be straight up bad, but Pure Light of Mind, 
probably not one of my favorites on here but again it does have its positives though overall not again not a bad song but next we're moving to track number eight the great deceiver which was the second single and i did review this song on the channel and yeah this is maybe another favorite of mine on the album i definitely hear early to mid 2000s in flames with this song uh, reroute to remain soundtrack to your escape come clarity that time in the band but great to see overall another really killer song i definitely dig the heavy riffage in this one and the chorus is just so he just heavy and just kicks so much ass and probably one of the strongest choruses on the album for me in my opinion and i also really dig the riffs that close off the song also but yeah overall great deceiver another solid banger from in flames and again probably a highlight for me on the album but next we're moving to the song in the dark and this is maybe another favorite of mine on the album actually uh I, rhythmically, I, I'm really into this song. Rhythmically, maybe one of the catchiest songs for me on the album, especially with the verses. But yeah, you get the growls and the verses, and then you move to the chorus where you get more clean vocals. And I really actually really dig the clean vocals um, in this song. Uh, again, with the chorus, and for me, maybe one of my favorite choruses on the album. I'm, of course, I'm probably still thinking about it, but either way, fairly solid chorus in the dark. Overall, pretty good song, I'd say. And maybe, again, one of my favorites. But next, we're moving to the next two songs on here. A Dialogue in B-flat minor and Sinosier, or Sinosier. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but these two songs for me are some of the weaker songs for me on the album. Uh, maybe I have to, I'll have to give these two songs more listens or more attention, because... And, and, and I have given these two songs multiple listens, but... As of now, these songs aren't really sticking out to me as much as some of the other songs on the album. Not really leaving much of a lasting impression on me, again, compared to some of the other songs on the album. But overall, they're okay songs. But now we're moving to the album closer in the transmission. And I definitely really dig the, the heavy riffs and the verses, along with, of course, the growls over these riffs. But then we move to the chorus, which I'm kind of conflicted about. I'm not really sure if I'm really feeling the chorus of this song. Maybe as I give this song more listens over time, um, the chorus will grow on me, but it's a, it's a decent album closer. Uh, for me, not one of the strongest songs on here, but, but still not a bad song overall, a decent song. So yeah, overall, I'd say Fairly great album from In Flames, actually. Uh, I, I do think it does blow what they did in the 2010s straight out of the water easily. And I might like this album more than some of the stuff from the 2010s. I'm still thinking about that, though. But yeah, overall, fairly good addition to the In Flames discography. And there were definitely some songs on here that I'm really enjoying much more and more and more with each listen, such as songs like Bleeding Out and In the Dark. But yeah, if I were to give this album a rating, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the album. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you more towards the middle? Let me know where you would rank this album within their discography. Would it be in the upper half or lower half? Let me know your some of your favorite or least favorite songs on here. Have you pre-ordered the album or bought the album and all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment and a like subscribe, have a nice day, and of course, take care.